All right, welcome back to another episode of our Gilders One playthrough in Nightfall, and we are uh, we finished some missions early on, but I've been neglecting some of the quests in the areas, uh, especially this command post quest, which is allowing us to do three mini quests called Building the Base. So this is these quests are supposed to allow the Sunspear Sanctuary to get a kind of upgrade i guess i'm not really sure how it works because this is like a community community place isn't it like am i just are these guys locked out to me if i don't have the command post let me let me just check that real quick no they're activated yeah i'm not really sure i'm not really sure what the difference is going to be if i do this building the base but we're going to find out i don't i honestly don't remember doing these because uh, they are optional but anyway we're gonna figure these out together there is a primary quest I can pick up from Lonai but I'm not gonna do that yet and actually I'm not even gonna pick it up yet I'm just gonna leave it there for a little bit but I'm gonna do the command post missions I'm going with a keystone signet build domination inspiration and uh, fast casting and I'm bringing the Signet of Corruptions from the Cursic Tracks. There, I had a lot of choices of Signets, actually, because in Nightfall they added a bunch. Uh, I decided to keep Necromancer because of this Signet. I could change it to, like, Monk or something. That might be a good one, actually. Let's, let's look at the Monk Signets really quick. So I'm going to set this to Type. Uh, so I could do like Signet of Rage or Bane Signet. The problem with that is I would need to put some skills into these. Like if I put some smiting here. Yeah, it does 30. Um, yeah, I just feel like I feel like going Necromancer is going to be more effective because of that. Because of that uh, Signet of Corruption. So I'm going to run this first. I know I am missing out on some other classes. Um other class elites but we're gonna stick with this for a little bit i also changed up zed i had a uh, had some recommendations in the comments running ice spear with obsidian flame and i decided to put in swirling aura to give zed more of a supporting build plus his damaging build his damaging skills eruption which is a little bit of a cooldown so he's going to be spamming these two uh putting some hexes on the enemy team while also buffing the entire party with these two war the ward and swirling aura it's a pretty cool build i think he shouldn't have any mana issues either because he's running elemental attunement and aura of restoration but we'll we'll keep an eye on him actually let me take a look at his yeah he looks good he could use a little bit more energy storage but yeah all right, so we need to talk to Dunkoro for this mission. They're going to talk to him to do the command post quest. And I think I can complete them in any order. All right, so I'm going to start with, I guess, building the base, Prisoners of War. There's a bunch of other ones, but these are not the ones that we're doing right now. I might go ahead and do it. Well, he has so many, actually. It's crazy. Um, every time I return... For cashing in these rewards, though, I need to make sure I bring the uh, low-level hero so I can level him up. Uh, oh, I need to bring Dunkoro. What are we doing? Uh, we need to ambush guards and attack some Kernan people. All right, let's do it. So I need to bring Dunkoro first. So let's go back. Let's go back to the Sun Spear Sanctuary. And then. Sorry, Takora, I'm bringing Dunkoro. Then I need to remove Menlo and bring the other guy, Kim. Because he's, uh, I think Kim is a, um, not a guy. I think she's a female, right? She's the uh, protection henchman, I think. It's weird that they just call her monk henchman. So maybe she's more of a hybrid. She's not protection or healing. She's just monk. 
again how hard would it have been to allow the players to see the henchman skills would that have been like too difficult have a little ha like like maybe just make a little interact ui like you do from any of the shopping merchants and you could just see their skill bar that's it that's all they needed to do Oh, I'm just looking at Dunkoro's bar. What's going on with Dunkoro's bar? Dang it. Hold on. <laughs> he's got... He's missing some skills. Let's, uh... Let's give him some... Let's give him some skills, should we? Uh, let's go with... He's, he's healing divine favor, so we'll give him some, like... That's a pretty good one. Watchful healing. And we'll do some vigorous spirit. But this is a oh attacks or cast a spell. I'm pretty sure I might be wrong, but vigorous spirit, I'm pretty sure it used to only be on attacks. Am I crazy for think remembering that? I feel like I feel like it was attacks or or I I feel like it was only attacks back in the day. All right, this is third time's the charm. <laughs> Officially going to start this quest. I might have to edit it to make it a little more smooth. Oh, that was a fail for sure. I'm going to hear about it in the chat. Let me know how much of a, a noob I am in the chat. Don't hesitate. Yeah, I'm liking this team. I'm really excited for Zed. Uh, playing around with those builds for Zed and Sosuke, it makes me want to play Elementalist, honestly. Maybe I'll do another play playthrough with an Elementalist. Honestly, I'm not even sure. Like, I still have, I still have several months left of content uh, just going through the main campaigns alone. So I'm not really, I'm not really concerned about about finding content for this game there's so much with this game um i don't need energy i'll just use this one look at that keystone signet six times that's crazy six six of my one two three four five six so all of my signets will activate keystone signet that is crazy okay let's test this let's test this puppy out i'm gonna blow up this mirage But the thing that I don't like about Keystone Signet is that it only, the damage only procs on other, other foes, not the foe that I'm targeting. So really it's more of an interrupt skill and AoE damage for clustered enemies. But still the effects of the Signets are pretty good. I'm still not sure of the like, I'm. S I mean, yeah. I guess it's worth to start with Keystone Signet because it's only on a 15 second cooldown. What you could do is use these signets and then use Keystone Signets to reactivate them, but it's not. It's not that much lost time, I don't think. I could also alternate targets like that to make sure I'm attacking. I'm uh damaging everyone. Mixing it up a little bit. I'm still figuring out how to use this build. I really like Signet of Humility, though. That's pretty sweet. So, like, in that case, a natural Signet was up before Keystone Signet. Heck yeah. Oh, it's not even a max damage. How does a max damage... I retain my lockpick, at least. How does a max... How does a... Ooh. We got a... Perfect. Vampiric. Longbow. That's pretty good. Except it's not max damage. So let's just keep the Vampiric bow string. That's pretty cool. It looks like we have a barrage build in the future for our... Where am I going? 
I'm not even going the right way. <laughs> All right, let me uh, fast forward this really quick. <laughs> Okay, I just backtracked a little bit. I was getting a little carried away testing out this build on the enemies that I uh, totally went off track. So one thing with these Mandragores, same concept that you would use in the Eye of the North, is try not to just go running, like you see enemies and don't try and just run directly to those enemies. You should, you should go a little bit slow work your way up to them because these mandragores can just pop up out of nowhere and before you know it you've aggroed like three different groups yeah these are actually two separate groups aren't they oh. i want to make sure i also should put signet of humility after corruption because once I use Signet of Humility, my Corruption gets, uh, gets taken away. Really like Signet of Humility, though. That could cause a, that could cause a, a lot of problems for, like, this Monk Henchman, for example. He's not gonna be able to use Zealous Benediction. I'm just kind of spamming them, not really doing much. This this build really suffers whenever they're separated like that. But there was only three enemies, so I wasn't too concerned. I might have to start doing some pulling, like aggro, and then pull them back so they naturally group up together. Wonder how Zed's doing. I, I I'm gonna try and pay attention to Zed more. Um, in this next fight. Yeah, hey, they're not grouping out. Huh? Next six is all frozen. Yeah. The AoE interrupt, though, it's like, basically turns all your signets into that cry of frustration. Here, this is gonna be huge. Watch this, watch this, watch this. This is going to be giant. A lot of melee enemies, though. Yeah, spamming Unnatural Signet like that. So I use Unnatural Signet, then Keystone Signet, then back to Unnatural Signet. That's a ton of damage. That's pretty... Like, when they're grouped up, it's pretty massive damage on this. Alright, how's Zed doing? His energy's pretty good. He's maintaining a little bit of overcast. So I'm not sure how that uh, swirling aura worked, but 5 seconds of 50% chance of block projectiles it really counters these uh, archers, I hope. Alright, so I think this is the first quest done. Bingo. We rescued them. Do we have to escort them? No. It's only level 10. Yeah, I guess I don't need to escort them, so we're going to travel back. I'm always scared because if you... A lot of times in the missions, if you don't escort them all the way back to the door of the next area, you fail the mission. All right, so I'm going to bring in my weak... My low-level henchman here. Sad. And then they should get a level up here. Nice. Acolyte got level 18. He's still running this master's magic. Okay. I'm going to keep Zed. I like Zed a lot. He's growing on me. And I'm guessing I still need Dunkoro for all of these. So let's go. Where am I going? Let's go with Elias. And then we'll bring the rest of my team.
I didn't really notice the Sogolon doing anything, but I guess he's okay. I wonder if they meant to name this guy Sogolon, because we learned also in a previous mission, a quest, that Sogolon was also a name of a of an of an old um, Sunspear leader. Because we met his ghost, right? So it's just a coincidence, I guess. By right, building the base interrogation, I've received word that Narashi has captured a current scout on Margo Coast. Right now, we must gather as much intelligence. Are you up for this? All right, got to go to Margo Coast. So this one actually requires us to go to this back exit of Sunspear Sanctuary. You know what? Let's... Let's just warp down to Yolon Haven and maybe we can do some more exploring this way. I'm looking for some some uh, bosses, not really finding any bosses. Also, I need to make sure I'm using my domination staff here. I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Yeah, I guess it does matter. Also, I got some I got some of these scrolls. Might be nice to use them to help Zed level up faster. This uh, aura of light would be really good on a vampiric weapon. Just cancels out the disadvantages of vampiric weapons. Uh, the problem, the problem with running Keystone though is Sogolon, his his uh, what do you call them? Auras. They don't really work for me because I don't have any skills or spells. I'm using signets. Interesting. The R of restoration, yeah. But he should at least he'll help the survivability a lot of my teammates. I'm always looking for enemies that are grouped up like that. He's not saying it's pretty fun. He's very spammable. Don't need to think too much. Nice. Alright, uh, let's do some exploring down here. You know what, actually, I think there might be a assassin boss down this way. Maybe. Oops, spotter. Liking it this time around. We're gonna buff his energy storage, I guess. Oh, uh, no, we'll buff his earth. Look at that. Having level. He's got level 13 in. or level 12 in both of those stats. It's pretty good for his level. Uh, looking for Mesmer boss. I don't want to have to resort to the wiki, but I might have to if I don't find a single Mesmer boss. 
found so many like warrior, necromancer, monk, dervish. No mesmers. Mesmers not getting any love so far in Nightfall. I mean, all these, most of these skills are factions or prophecies or core or whatever. Is this like a grave site? Creepy. Oh, we're under attack. These Cornin, the Cornin AI, they really, they spot you from, it seems like they spot you from outside of your aggro circle. That's pretty new. It might be wrong, but it feels that way. Looks like we're double, we got, we got pincered attacked here. Luckily, Elias is a one-man army, so we actually have them out. Look at that, the frenzy, death by frenzy again, over a hundred damage spamming. Yeah, I love the combo, the unnatural signet, the unnatural, unnatural signet, then keystone signet back to unnatural signet that just does like triple damage. How's my, oh, I hit level seven of my sun spear rank. It's good to know. Got a chest up here. What's going on with these cows? Nice, retained it. Looks like we got a new wand for Zed. Oops, wrong one. Where's it at? Highly salvageable. What's he using? Oh, he's using a staff. It's better. Alright, I guess I'll salvage it. It's begging to be salvaged. Or steel ingots. It's like that's like over 200 gold right there. I think ingots are selling for like 60 gold a piece right now. Maybe nine? No, no, 90 gold a piece. I think I last saw. Before I started this episode, I sold off a lot of my materials so I could buy some of these signets of capture. No bosses i can't believe it crazy got some bone horrors stuck behind her let's try and get her there we go they got stuck right behind the priest bad for the termites honestly no i don't let's talk to men men see what's he doing over here what's he doing with all these cows <coughs> nothing all right i feel like i feel like there's something involved there maybe there's a quest later on that i can use Avatar of Melendru is here. Acolyte of Melendru. If I had Dervish as a secondary, I could pick that up. Here we go. We got a uh, we got a boss. Blue Ball Ice Hand sounds like a elementalist. Don't want to over aggro though. Very careful here. Massive damage. Oh, it's an assassin. This is the assassin I was thinking of. It's okay. Oh, it's a dervish. What's he using? use Signet of Humility on him, so he's not going to be able to use it, I guess. Whoa. Grin 
Ren's balance did like 250 damage to him. Let's see what he had. Yeah, he was in Dervish. I thought for a second he might have been a Necromancer because Grin's balance hit so hard. Alright, going the long way to find to finish this quest, but only found one boss so far. I just need a Mesmer boss. I think after this quest, I'm going to pull up a wiki. Ooh, what's this place? Nundu Bay? Is this an outpost? After I complete this quest, I think I'll come down here. I'm not going to waste a scroll because Zed's already level 19. He should get level 20 after this quest. Oh, so much damage, man. Lunto Sharkfoot. Okay, here's a boss. This is a, a Paragon boss, it looks like. Really having trouble seeing the aura. Assassin. It's an assassin. Shattery Burden. What else is he using? I think he's using like Siphon, siphon Strength or something, if I remember correctly. He's your lead. Be awesome if we get his green item. Let's go, green dagger. Drop him. Shadow meld. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna have to capture that skill. Capture that skill and then use it for. Oops. Use it for. Uh, put it on Zenmai or something. Yeah, that's my biggest complaint with this build is the single target damage is just atrocious. It's really not great. Atrocious in a bad way. I know atrocious could mean good things these days. It's dismal. Alright, Naroshi, we made it. Narashi. We went a really long... If we had gone from the command post, we would have just gone straight this way but we we warped down here and walked all the way across here found two three bosses zero mesmer bosses all right i'll tell you anything you want just whatever you do don't hurt me i'm allergic to pain <laughs> i'm gonna use that next time i'm captured just keep her and that dagger away from me my unit receives reports Blah, 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 sun spears, blah, 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 along the way, decided to investigate, she jumped me, okay. How many were in your unit? Eight of us. Where's your unit now? North of here. Why do you want to know? You're not going to kill them, are you? Have you seen any other sun spears? That group was the only one. I heard that most who survived the battle have been captured or found dead. The, those still alive are being held in the garrisons. The more important ones at Bokos Prison. Okay. Alright, finish that. Um, yeah, we're not going to kill him. We're nice. Take him out to the wilderness. Set him free. By the time he makes it back to his unit, we'll be all long gone. Consider it done. 
All right, so we finished that. Destroy the scout group guarding the Kernan presence and pre peasants and liberate the prisoners. We're not done yet. And then walking. Yeah, she's she's actually leading him away. Okay. I forgot you could precast this pretty far in advance. So let's see, I'm gonna wait until it gets down and then I'll start the battle. Look at that damage, it's sick man. That was disgusting damage. So precast signet of, of uh, keystone signet before the battle starts. And then you can really blow some people up with Keystone Signet combined with Unnatural Signet. Very nice combo. Let's see if we got anything good. Yeah. Knight's Kernan of Major Absorption. I think those are both for a warrior. Yeah, both of these are warriors. Uh, let's get that one. Nice, we can get both of them. We can put those on costs. I always like the knight's rune. Alright. Lead the peasants back to the safety of Sunspear's Sanctuary. Darn. So we do have to escort them. What level are they though? Level 20? They should be able to handle themselves. So we're going all over this map. Come on, Mesmer boss. If they die, we fail. So part of me almost doesn't want to find a boss, but uh, another part of me does. So I'm going to precast Keystone Signet. I'm hoping that Oh, here we go. Yeah, I knew it. I knew there was going to be some termites popping up. As long as we stay in this ward, we're pretty protected. Defensive with Zed, Sogolon, and then the two monks. We're a very uh, defensive oriented party. Very good survivability, I must say. Okay, we got some more quests over here to do, actually. So many quests. Let's pick these up, I guess. Costs. Yeah, we'll go ahead and pick up these quests. Not really a whole lot of point of doing them all. Just kind of bonding experiences with the heroes, I guess. Oh, that was the herdsman that we found. Okay. So we can knock out like two birds with multiple bir birds with multiple stones here. All right, so quest two is done. We have one left. There we go. Uh, now I'm gonna back, I'm gonna fast forward. I'm gonna skip ahead in the video and I'm gonna go all the way down here to this outpost. I don't wanna miss that. So. See you soon. Okay, so I backtracked back to Nundu Bay. But before I do here, I think... I think I'm gonna check... 
I realize I missed this huge section here. I was thinking about this boss. Or, or the, the boss that was this, that was here, I was thinking of it being here. So that means there's another boss in this region right there. So I'm going to backtrack one more time. Fast forward this, and then I'm pretty positive there's a boss here. And since I'm already exploring this area, I'm not sure if I'm going to need to come back here or not. I want to go ahead and make sure I don't miss this opportunity. So let's fast forward one more time. All right, on my way down here, I found another chest. So let's see what we got here. Retain the lockpit, max damage, axe. Let's go. What's it got for us? Maybe we can switch cost to an axe. Not great. Oop. All right, a lot more enemies down here than I expected. So I'm just gonna go along this coast. while off stream that's what that noise was i noticed there's a boss over here too that's an elementalist boss though darn yeah there's a ton of bosses in margo coast Let's see what this guy has too i guess i was gonna backtrack all the way down there but it looks like there's still plenty of bosses so. using elemental attunement okay we're not missing anything Oh, I got that interrupt last second. Let's go. Inventory full. What are you talking about? Right, keep going it's gonna be an interesting editing experience because i keep clipping up this uh this run but i also just we'll just keep going i'm not gonna fast forward because there seems to be more and more enemies popping up keep the action going i don't know why my These guys all clumped up. You guys are so gone. No chance. Oh. Just eliminated. Ooh. Trolls of Parchment. I haven't gotten that one before. Usually that's for like the tattoo armors that monks and necromancers have. Those are some of the coolest armors. It's, I kind of miss playing necromancer or or monk because I always like going those like fully tatted up armors that you can get. Pretty sweet. All right, it looks like there's a boss here, Neoli the Contagious. It's either necromancer or mesmer. This is what, yeah, this is what I was thinking of. I knew that along the beach there were some of these bosses, but yeah, let's see what we got. Gosh, these elementalist guys are nuking my team, but right back up to full health. I like that. Oh, it's a mesmer. Let's go, fragility. What's he running? Oh man. This 
get back up to full health, guys. Oh, I just, I just uh, removed his elite, his elite skill, so we're not gonna know what he's got. Someone got. Oh, I just, I got a skill point. Excited. Let's see what we got here. Extend conditions. Spread all conditions from target foe to all foes near your target. The durations of those conditions are increased by 56%. That's going to be fun. Inspiration magic. Interesting. Wow, that's going to be interesting. Yeah. So in this, if I use extend condition, I actually want the extensions to, uh, the conditions to last longer. So you don't necessarily want to use fragility, I don't think. Maximum of 30 seconds. That's a very long time. I think more importantly though, the spreading of conditions is probably more important than the extending of the conditions. Because look at that cooldown. Five seconds. Yeah, that's interesting. Alright, uh, now for real, I'm gonna go back to Nundo Bay, so I'm gonna skip ahead. Okay, while well, on my way back, I found this herdsman, so we might as well do this quest as well. This is a, this is gonna be a crazy episode. Um, you best get moving before your soldiers of the garrison notice you. What do we have to do? Protect the cattle while herdsman moves them to a safer location. At least three cows must survive. Well, I think we should be able to do it since we already cleared out the whole area, right? There might not even be any enemies that pop up. We might have just meta this this quest by accident. Wow. Just crawling, crawling pace. I guess he's going slow because we're supposed to be running ahead to clear out some stuff. And since they're already clear, it just feels like we're moving just snail's pace. Insect carapace. Ooh, we can get some nice... Wow, that's a nice blood magic. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, these are not great. Not great. Not great at all. Is it raining just over there? Interesting. Usually developers, whenever they have rain effects, they put it just over the player. But it looks like the rain is lit is actually over there. Here we go. These guys found us. Die, Sunspear. Three against like 40. Guys, I'm... We have an army here. Oh, why are you guys attacking the cows? You freaks? No. Oh, two cows dropped. They're just going straight for the cows. What is this? They're only level five also. Oh, my team got split. This is hard. My teammates got split, that's why. How many I got left? One, two, three, four, five. Alright. They're attacking the bone minions. 
That was rough. We just gotta get over there. We've already cleared this way, though. Let's go ahead and clear these guys before they murder our cows. I didn't know the enemies were just gonna focus the cows. I mean, smart, smart on their part, I guess. that extends condition. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna run extend conditions next episode. 100 percent Oh oh we failed. Oh we failed so hard. Right at the end. My monks don't don't care about the cows, so they don't heal them. Wow, did we fail it? We barely survived. Four out of ten. Even with all the clearing that we did ahead of them. Alright, we finished it. Nice. A cool 100 Sun Spear points and some experience. And we got to a new area, Nandu Bay. I think this is eventually going to be a mission area, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe not. I'm not sure what the point of this place is, but we're here. Very good. All right, we have one more command post mission. Uh, the meeting. This is quite an eventful episode. I'm not gonna use extend conditions yet. I'm gonna keep using this sun spear or this <laughs> keystone signet build. Let's pull up another signet of capture. And let's not use necromancer. Let's go with something different like um assassin no monk let's just use monk maybe we can get some cool monk abilities uh we'll use signet of rage no pain signet okay shall we oh i talked to low nine so is Lonai like second in command or something? Why is she so important? Let's get our other henchmen. Let's see if we can get them up to level 20 or level 19. Nice, in my level 19. Let's go. Now get out of here. <laughs> Great, now bye. Uh, let's bring. Elias. Elias is great. He's my first choice for having a hero. Um, the meeting. Last one. Doing three missions or three quests in one. This is going to be a long episode. Hope you guys don't mind. Building the base. So we need to rendezvous with Karendu because he believes we share a common enemy, Varish. We can convince Karendu and his sons to join us. It should increase our support in Korna. So it's like a po politics kind of thing. Sunward marches. Oops. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell off some stuff here since we got these traders. Hold on. Okay. We are good to go.
staying right around like four, between 10 and 15 platinum. Uh, pretty good. All right, Sunward Marches. Ray to this. Who is this? Was this Duena? It's a weird looking god. It's like covered it. It's a uh, Lisa. Okay. Um All right, let's go. Oh, pretty close. Blow them up. You know the drill, everyone. Get Elias' his army up. We're just going to beeline straight there. Not many enemies around here. That means that, yeah, whenever it's empty, that tells you there's going to be some Mandragores popping up very soon. It's just too, it's too empty around here. I just noticed the sound effects. Zed, Zed has a different footsteps sound. I can pick out Zed's footsteps sound when he's running. They gave him like a galloping horse sound. I don't know if you guys can hear it. There we go. Here's the magic horse. Look at all those inner roughs. You guys don't stand a chance. All right, Karandu. Yeah, you can hear Zed's footsteps. Hoofsteps, I should say. May succeed at hiding or attention of the people of Kurna, but as a scholar, I've learned to read between the lines. So he's very suspicious of Varish. My sons, Mubata and Sinbi, and I have come to pledge service to you. Okay, that was easy. But now what? Is that it? I need, oh, here we go. Let's get in between them so that... Is that the smell of rotten spies on the list? Quickly, over there. The only good spy is a dead spy. So we gotta save him here. Look, there's a huge delay in, in their aggro. <laughs> If I had if I had been standing right there, my teammates would have immediately nuked them. But still, not bad. Bane signet is really nice because it actually has that knockdown in addition. That knockdown's pretty huge. Lead Karendu to safety at Sunspear Sanctuary. Is it going to be that simple, or are we going to get ambushed? I feel like we're going to get ambushed on the way. But it looks like we completed the command post in one fell swoop. We have uh, improved our standing in Korna. Okay, we are done. That was the easiest of all of them. That was the easiest of all the quests. We talked to Lonai, and this was a good one. We, we, we discovered the Keystone Signet build is pretty fun. We captured two, two elites? One elite? I think we only captured one elite. 
But next episode, I'm going to be running that Extend Conditions build. That's going to be fun. Uh, I like Zed's build, too. That's really fun. All right. Uh, we're going to accept this. Oh, darn it. I forgot to change. Well, Zed's level 20. That's good. There you go. I forgot to get my henchman out. Then we'll get this primary quest up. Yeah. All right. Missed out on getting them to level 20, but they're pretty close. So we can always add them to the party later and get them up. Um, I'm going to run. Here we go. All right. So for next time, next episode, we're going to be doing Mysterious Message, continuing on with our primary quest. I am going to sporadically, uh, intermittently jump back and do some of these quests here. Uh, maybe not all of them, but definitely some of them, because I want to be, I want to try and get some exploration in these areas that uh, I haven't spent much time in, because there are some pretty good elite skills. So if you're like, oh, when's he gonna capture this? Uh, don't don't worry, I will. There's a lot of content in Guild Wars 1. There's a lot of videos to be made. So don't worry too much about like, when's he gonna do this? When's he gonna do that? And if you ever have any suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. I am always reading them. I am always listening. I am always willing to adjust my gameplay based on the suggestions of viewers. So I don't really believe in backseat gaming. I think it's just a part of of the gaming community I've mentioned it before so don't hesitate if you have a suggestion if you think I'm just like the most inept gamer in the world uh, I, I probably am so just give me some suggestions suggestions to improve and I, I'm definitely willing to give it a try so anyway with that I'll leave you guys to it peace